Well, first of all, thanks uh, all of you for being here. It's an exciting time of the year for us. Uh, we're about two and a half weeks into practice and uh, really have just an unbelievable focus right now to get back to who we are as uh, Colorado Buffaloes and uh, what we're about, and, and that's playing defense. That's being able to get up and down the floor, uh, playing together, playing really hard, and um, you know, just uh, being able to um, re-energize our program. And, and uh, it's been it's been a fun year to do that with so many young players, uh, while at the same time having some great veterans that uh, add to the mix and add some experience to our to our really really young team. Um, but it's been uh, it's been a good two and a half weeks of practice, and I'm excited about where we are. We keep getting better every single week, and um, just uh, ready to see what this team can do as we get into some scrimmages and, and exhibition games, and then start uh, our uh, start our games on November 14th. Coach, losing uh, Ariel was pretty big. Uh, now with the injury, early graduations. Uh, how do you replace a player like that? Well, the good thing about it is we haven't had her for, for very many years. Uh, we didn't have her all last year. Uh, really, she only played two years here. So, um, you know, we feel like uh, it's going to be somebody that, you know, Jamie Swan really was able to step up last year and, and provide us some good inside presence, provide some rebounding for us. Um, you know, and, and, you know, I like what Monica Burrich does, uh, both at the three and, and the four position. Uh, Mackenzie Ellis is, is a freshman for us this year that, maybe is one of the biggest surprises um, of anybody on uh, our team so far this year. She is coming off an ACL tear and, um, you know, really just I didn't know what to expect from her as, as she's coming in. And um, But she has great principles, uh, one of our best defensive players, especially on in help side, on the weak side. Um, and we really think that, that uh, we have a lot of different options. You know, it's going to be – Rebounding is going to be a big key for us, um, and, and defensively, we have to have somebody that can defend those athletic threes and fours. Um, and, and so right now, we're still trying to see who that's going to be, and, and that's a process. And when you have young kids, it, it takes a little bit of time for them to start to understand uh, what that level is like and, and what that looks like. Coach, you mentioned being a player that step up in a leadership role this year. You know, how have you seen that evolve so far in practice? And, uh, yeah, you know, Haley is uh, somebody that, that has to step up for us. She made huge strides from her freshman to sophomore season. Uh, we need her to make another jump this season, and, and she's had, she has to start it with her defense. Um, you know, she, we need her to lead on the defensive side of things. It's something that she has to really work on. It's not one of her biggest strengths. She's pretty solid at it. Um, but we need her to be more of a defensive threat. <coughs> you know, Haley's really good right now at knocking down those open jumpers that other people create for her. Uh, but we've also really challenged her to be able to get to the rim. And, you know, yesterday in practice, she got to the rim three or four times. Uh, she's strong. She's one of our most athletic, strongest kids. She's extremely fit. She takes care of her body. Um, you know, she puts herself in position to be able to be very, very solid. She's always been one of our mo most consistent players. Um, and so that bodes well for your leadership, for leadership qualities. You, you need your leader to be really consistent. Um, and somebody that can be vocal as well as just do their job. And, and Haley's been one of those players that has just done her job in years past. And this year we need her to step up and really hold her teammates accountable, uh, set the bar high, set the standard high, and be able to, uh, be able to really communicate what it takes to, to be successful. And that's something where she, it's, it's a process and she's got to keep learning. Um, and we talk to her about that all the time. And, um, but we, we, I feel like we also have some other players that can step into that role as well. You need your point guards to be leaders on the floor. It doesn't matter if they're freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. Uh, your point guards have to be leaders. And, and so those are the things that we need Haley to lead in, in a certain way, but we also need other players to step up into that role as well. What's, what's, the, what's the learning curve on a, for a freshman class like this? Would you expect it to be less? Would you expect by the time conference play starts, you know, for them to be just the, you know, two or three steps ahead? Yeah, we, we want them, uh, you know, they, they have to be on a fast track. Um, you know, we're going to have one to two of them in, one to two to three of them on the floor probably at any one time. Um, and so we need them to catch on to things really quickly. The great thing about our freshman class is they have really, really high basketball IQs. 
So there are a lot of things that you're, that you're normally teaching freshmen that these guys don't have to learn. Um, you know, when to get the ball to their hands, when to get in help side. They've been really well coached in high school, in club. They've played at a really high level uh, up until this point. And so the things that we feel like we're teaching them are, um, you know, our positioning, how to get through screens, uh, offensive sets, um, those sorts of things, not necessarily, you know, angles and how to pass and um, when to get the ball to their hands and, and things that it's really hard to teach. We're not having to teach these, these freshmen. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun for our coaching staff to really take the next step with our team. And um, our returners should already know those things, and so they should be a little bit further ahead. Uh, but we expect our freshmen to catch up, you know, even probably before conference. For us to have a successful season, we need them to be ready by November 14th uh, to do some great things. And then we know there's going to be some uh, some bumps and uh, along the road, and we know that they're going to, you know, we're going to have to constant. It's going to constantly be a, a learning process for them. But at the same time, they're highly, highly competitive kids. Uh, they have great basketball IQs. They want to win. Um, and, and they want to, they're great teammates. They want to do whatever the team needs for us to be successful. Yeah, and, and that's exactly right. I mean, she's got, she has great skills on the inside. We need her to be at that inside presence for us. She's probably our best inside player at this point. And so um, we're going to challenge her to, to be a presence on the block. Uh, but we also like her on the move away from the basket as well, and that allows her to really use her athleticism. And the great thing about our offense is our fours and our fives get both opportunities. Um, if she's rebounding the basketball at a high level, which we think she will, a lot of times she'll be facing the basket and she'll be away from the basket a little bit more in our offense. Um, you know, and then defensively she has to be a great presence on the block as well. She has to be able to get, you know, eight or nine rebounds for us, and, and so. Um, you know, she's she's one player that is really going to have to take a great step as a fresh or as a senior, uh, be able to be that consistent force for us on the floor every single game. Doesn't matter if we're playing a lower level opponent or playing the best opponent. She has the tendency to bring her best against the best. Uh, this season, we need her at her best, um, no matter who we're playing, and, and we feel like she can be steady enough to, to be able to do that. Coach, basketball is one of the few sports here in the school that has two head coaches. Are you and Tad able to kind of take advantage of that and talk to each other and consult each other? Yeah, I respect Tad a, a great deal. I mean, what he's been able to come here and do uh, has been tremendous. And, and the neat thing about our relationship is we were hired a, within a week of each other. Um, and it's been fun to kind of grow with each other. And we've had highs together. We've had lows together. and. Uh, obviously, last season for both of us was a little bit disappointing. Um, but I, you know, I respect what he does. I, I enjoy watching his practices, uh, seeing how, seeing the drills that he runs. Um, you know, just in terms of how to get the best out of out of players. I know I've gone into his, his office a few times, and hey, what do you do in this sort of scenario? And uh, I think it's always a little bit different from you know men to women in how you handle different things. But it's just great to get ideas and. Um, what a great staff, what, what a, you know, I know there's a lot of staffs out there that, that wouldn't necessarily talk to the women's staff, you know, and so we appreciate that uh, they're just nice guys, you know, if, if, if I had a son, I, I would want him to play for Tad um, and, and, th and those coaches because of how they, how they teach the game, how they mentor their guys, um, and so I really respect uh, what he does, and I'm excited about uh, watching their pro program go forward. I think anytime that you have the men's program, uh, anytime that they're doing well, it provides excitement for basketball. You know, it doesn't matter whether we're doing well or they're doing well. Uh, that that excitement in the winter in the winter months is is pretty unbelievable. Did Did you do any particular thing in the off season last year that you think is going to help you as a coach? Yeah, you know, we really took a step back and, and looked at uh, where we've fallen short, uh, maybe in the past year or two, and. Um, you know, reevaluated a few things uh, with our program and how we how we do things. And uh, one of those is just we've had a few too many injuries the last couple of years. Uh, we feel like we've made some great changes uh, in that in that way. Our strength and conditioning coach Chris Sheckler has done a great job. Our new athletic trainer Taka has has done a tremendous job. And uh, we've really worked on uh, developing our players from the ground up uh, in terms of 
you know, making sure that, that they're put together in the, in the right way and, and they're fit and they're strong. Um, we feel like if we can keep our best players on the floor, we have great, a great chance to, to do some unbelievable things. And we felt like that for the past two seasons. Um, and so that's been a big focal point of ours, but also just getting back to who we are. And, and that's putting a lot of emphasis on defense. Uh, that's making sure that if you're, if you can play defense you're on the floor and, and being consistent in that and, and how we coach and how we teach. And, uh, it's a, it's a mindset. We feel like we didn't have the right mindset last year. And, um, that's, that's on me. And, and every single day when, when we come and when our players come, they have to know, uh, that we're going to be tough on the floor, that we're going to be focused, um, that we can get through anything mentally. We can get through any adversity. Um, you know, we're going to execute our offense at a, at a high level. We're going to execute our defense and, uh, you know, just, uh, just getting back to kind of, uh, I feel like this year we have the talent to be able to do that, you know, and, and it's been fun to, to be able to work with, with our players and, and they're very, very coachable. Uh, they want to win. They're, they're, this team is, is, is probably as competitive or, or more competitive as the team that went to the NCAA tournament a couple of years ago. And, and that's what I remember from that team is every single day in practice, it was an all out war. Uh, they were fighting for positions. We had 10 kids that could play at a really high level. Um, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter if our players are, are running around a track or if they're playing a, a board game or uh, if they're doing sit-ups or if they're in the weight room, they want to win. They want to be uh, the best at what they're doing. And, and I'm seeing that on, on the practice floor as well. And that's been pretty fun to, to watch. They, they want to win every drill uh, and they're willing to do whatever it takes.